get it underway as Tulsa has it teed up on the hash mark on the right side. Here's the approach, and there's the kick. Kind of a sidewinder. Taylor at the 9, to the 15, to the 20, on the hash mark. Running the hash mark, 30, breaks a tackle at the 30. Goes out to the 36-yard line. Someone missed him at about the 30-yard line. He got an extra. They're going to give him 7 yards with a 28-yard return on the kick. The Aggies have come directly on the field, and I think they might open up with a bomb to Bethel Johnson. Let's see, we'll what, see what happens out of an eye formation. Drop back to the 30. Throwing deep on the sideline. Bethel Johnson. He caught. No, it's incomplete. He dropped the ball. He said he trapped it. 37-yard line. Second down and 10. Hash mark to the right. The Ags operating at their own 37. Put a man in motion. Hall coming. And off goes to Jamar. He tries the left side. Good blocking there, but only about three yards. Shotgun formation. Third down play from the Aggie 40-yard line, and time will have to be called by Randy McCowan. Game just underway, 14.05 to go in the first. The Aggies in Tulsa, no score. a has got the ball after a timeout call. They went to the sideline. It is third down and about seven. Drop back, looking. McCowan under some pressure will break a tackle behind the line, and now dropped after the yard. Now no yard. Got back to the line of scrimmage. Got back to the 39-yard line. A return man should be uh, Bragg standing back here at about the 22. High snap. Kicks away. And it's catch being called for by Bragg at the 20. Shotgun formation. He'll take the snap. Standing back at his own 15-yard line. Line of scrimmage about the 20 and a half. Drop back with no running backs. He's back at the 12. He's under some pressure. Gets away from the initial pressure. Now throws to the line of scrimmage. Ball caught at the 22 on the hash mark. Single setback who's standing about seven yards behind the line of scrimmage. And Wall is under center. Calling an audible. Two flankers to the left. That's the open side. Second down and about eight. Handoff will go to the running back, Mosley. He has some good ground here as he crosses the 25. Running on the hash mark here on the near side. Out to the 29-yard line. Glenn and uh, Boylan Bradley are the outside linebackers. Third down and about two. They put a man in motion. Quick pass. They've thrown a screen here to the, there's a flag. Whistle stop everything. They may have run out of time on the 25-second clock. That was third down and two. The play was a screen to the right, which was the open side of the formation. we got 11.58 to go in the first quarter. There's no score. No tight ends, no running backs. Aggies four men up on the line of scrimmage on this third down and about seven. There's the snap. Back to the 15. Steps up. Was hit as he threw. And it's been intercepted by the Aggies. Outside the 45. Back down to the 35. And that's going to be Jennings. Breaks the tackle. Spins away. Down to the 20-yard line. First down and 10. Ags at the Tulsa 20-yard line. Single set back. Two tight ends. A, well, there was a one tight end formation. And there's a keeper by McCowan. Just takes the snap. Bumps out of bounds here near the spot needed for the first down. McCowan brings him back to the line. Eight carries and 37 yards in the opening ball game for McCowan. An 11-yard carry there. Eye formation. And a tight end here on the right side. Had a slot to the left. Flags at the snap. We move. And they stop the play. This broadcast is brought to you in part by Budweiser. Beachwood Age for a crisp, clean, classic taste. Start. Five-yard penalty. Repeat first down. I went single setback. Two wideouts to the left. Run the option. Now cut it. McCowan. As he took it to the right side, carries to about the 12-yard line. And he got two wideouts on the left. One here on the right is Bethel Johnson. He's a split in. Quick drop by McCowan. Forced to run. He got a block here. He's trying to go to the corner. Still looking end zone now. Will go out of bounds. Out here on the right side, Taylor. He's a flanker. The split in on this side is hot. The shotgun. Man on either side of him. Drops back. Now he's thrown out. It blocked. Here's the uh, oh, pass man. knocked down. A nice block on that pass. Trying to come this way to Toombs. It goes incomplete. Leckler will hold. Kitchens, perfect in his opening ball game. And the string continues. He's now four out of four. That's a 23-yard kick. And the Aggies have the first lead of the night at the 10-49 mark. An interception returned to the 20 by Jennings. Turns into three on the field goal kick of 23 yards by Kitchens. He's now four out of four to start the season. Leckler will be kicking into that south wind that's about 10 to 15 miles per hour. Middle return man standing at the three, and it will be Mosley who moves up to the eight to take the uh, make the catch. Now returns it across the 15, hits the 20 to about the 23-yard line. It'll be the second possession of the night for Tulsa. Wall is under center, and he shows an eye formation with a split in left, tight in right. 
Flanker goes in motion, coming back to the near side. They tail back Mosley. They'll get the handoff, stopped behind the line on a hit by Brian Gamble. He got the handoff, tried right side on a straight dive, and Gamble caught him in the uh, backfield. Single setback, three wide out. And to tie it in, Muthers here on the left side. Ball favors Hashmark left. It's second down and still about 10 from their 22. Tulsa takes the snap. Mosley got the handoff. There's a hole there for a moment. Gamble again will meet Mosley near the line of scrimmage, and that's it. Three wide out right side. That's a double slot formation there. They got a slot on the left. No running backs. Drop back, throw it out here this way. It'll be caught at the 22-yard line and advanced on the catch by Scholes out to near the 30. Won't be enough for a first down. Dante Hall standing at the 30. Jason Webster at the 33-yard line. Casey Lipscomb, seven kicks, a 46-yard average coming into the ball game tonight. Takes the snap back at the 15. Middle pressure, the kick's away. That's going to send Hall here to the sideline. Makes the catch at the 15 over his shoulder. Now here comes the return. Going back wide side. He's still stringing it out. There's a flag down at the 20-yard line. There's a man on his back at the 26. And it will be a uh, legal block by the Ags, and the flag is back at the 18-yard line. Ags lead 3-0. Have the ball at their own nine, hash to the right side. Offset in the backfield, Toombs, followed by Eric Bernard now out of Tulsa Union. And Bernard gets the handoff at the 10. Hits it over the right side. Got a lead by Toombs, but it closed on him in a hurry at the 14-yard line. Two wide outs to the left. Split in here on the right. Della Torre is the tight end on the left side. Single setback. Play action. Drop back to the five. Step up. Throwing deep over the middle. Johnson overthrowing down at the Tulsa 45 on the far side hash mark. Here's third down and five. They've got to get it out past the Aggie 19-yard line. Matt Bumgartner's in the lineup. Single setback out of a shotgun. Shallow pocket. Now he steps up. There's backside pressure. Threw the ball, and it's been, I think, intercepted. It has on a diving catch at the 25-yard line. Right. First down and 10. Hash to the left. Tulsa with the ball at the 736 mark. McClure with the interception. Walls under center. No setbacks. Little uh, screen set out here to the left side. The ball will be caught, and that will be out of bounds after a pickup of about five at the 20. At the 20, second down and five. Single setback. Wall calling an audible. Slot to the right side. Almost ran out of time. There's a handoff. It goes to the running back. In the ball game, Ken Bohannon gets back to the 20-yard line. That'll be no game. Line of scrimmage, the 20 on third down and five. Walls barking signals, waiting for the snap. There it is. Throws out in the flats to the right side. It's a reception across the 15 down to the 14. Ball caught by Damon Savage. Jason Webster will make the stop. First down Tulsa at the Aggie 14-yard line. Put a man in motion coming back toward the middle of the field. Here's a draw to the backfield. Handoff will go to Bohannon. He carries across the 10 down to about the 8-yard line. Second down and four. Hash right, power formation in the backfield. Mosley gets the handoff, fighting for yardage, maybe the six and a half. Wall moves under center. Line of scrimmage again, the six and a half. They need about the four and a half. They'll throw the ball. It's caught over the middle. That'll be a touchdown. Caught by Scholes, I believe, at about the three. Broke a tackle at the three and got it into the end zone. That's the first touchdown at Kyle Field this season. It will be a second extra point attempt of the season. A ball is snap spotted down, and it is up and good. So make it a 7-3 Tulsa lead at 5.02 to go in the first. That middle return man will be Dante Hall. Taylor here on this side. Webster over on the other side. The up men are standing at the 10. Here's the kick, and boy, he got his foot into that one. I Sails think the field goal was good. Yeah, the, I think it went through the goal post. Took a bounce and went into the zone here at the north end. So the Aggies will have the ball. A first down and 10 at their own 20-yard line. AM running out of an eye formation with a tight end on the right, split into the left, flanker right. The handoff will go to Hall, who had trouble trying, I think, trying to hang on to the football as he got it and tried left side. Slot right, single set back out of a shotgun. Drop back, throw it out in the flats here on the left side. Couldn't be handled. It'll be an incomplete pass at the 20-yard line. That was a little bit low off of McCowan's arm. So third down and 11. He's under center, and we're offset in the backfield with a slot to the right. It is a light eye. Rolling to the right side, looking down the field, throwing the ball, sideline, Bumgarner, first down, caught at the 32 on the sideline, goes across the 35, now to the 39-yard line. Covered up to tie it in on the left side. They put a man in motion, Hall, coming back to the short stud. Sorts out of the formation. They're going to throw to Hall all by himself. He caught it at the 45, tries to juke a man at the 49, and goes down at the 49-yard line. That'll be the Aggie 49 out near midfield. 
Two flankers to the left side, tight end not covered up. It's first down and 10 at midfield for Texas A&M. There's the snap, the handoff goes to Hull. We try the middle, there's nothing there. Maybe a yard to the Tulsa 49-yard line. Split in here on the right, single setback, throw out of a shotgun formation. Drop back, backside pressure, nobody saw that man coming. Drop back at the 42-yard line, quarterback sack. Who missed Clay Johnson? Personal foul against both teams, offsetting, uh, and the play will stand then as a quarterback sack back at the Aggie 42-yard line. He's at the line with an eye formation. There's the snap. Drops back, almost slips. Steps up, throws the ball, and it's partially deflected. They were trying to get it to Bethel Johnson. Spencer Bragg standing back at the Tulsa 14-yard line. Line of scrimmage, the 42. Good snap from Chance Pierce. They had middle pressure. A good high sailor. Bragg's dropping back, asking for and taking a fair catch inside the 10 at the 8-yard line. Single set by. Put a man in motion. That will be Muther. Going to the right side. Hand it off. There's a flag down. They'll blow the whistles. They stop everything. There'll be a 5-yarder. and They'll move the ball back inside the 5 to the 4-yard uh, line. Ball favors hash mark right. Offset in the backfield. They'll keep it on the ground. It goes to Mosley. He gets a yard to the five, trying the right side. Second down and 14. At the five, run from a shotgun in the end zone, looking for somebody to throw to. Coming sideline, and it is out of bounds and incomplete. They were trying to hit Damon Savage. Wall under center with three wide outs left. Axe may be coming on a blitz. They are coming, and now Wall is smothered, and where are they going to spot him down? They're going to give him the one-yard line. They dropped him in the end zone, and they give him the one. This will be his second kick of the night. There's the snap. Ags were coming. They didn't get to him. He tries to draw a penalty. That won't work. Here's the catch made at the Tulsa 44 by Hall. Back to the 30, back to the 25. Man on his back at the 20-yard line. They have about a 24-yard return by Dante Hall. Toombs the lead back, Hall right behind him. There are two tight ends, and Hall will get the handoff, and they try the right side, and that is bottled up and smothered by Tulsa. But they may get the playoff here before the uh, first comes to an end. They did not. They went double zeros, and uh, that will bring the first period to an end here at Kyle Field. And Tulsa takes the lead into the second. After one, they lead 7-3 to three over your Aggies. Aggies have the ball at the line of scrimmage with an eye formation. Toombs is the fullback, and the tailback is Hall. Deep pitch, right side. Going to try a halfback pass under pressure. Hall now is going to have to run. There is a flag down as he gets back to the 20, to the 10. He's out of bounds inside the 10 at about the 7, but there's a a flag down back at the 20. No flag. Be a first down for the Aggies. The Aggies get a first down and goal inside the Tulsa 10. Just underway in the second. Tulsa has a 7-3 lead. Two tight ends. Sweep to the left on a deep pitch to Hall. Hits the five. Goes to the four. Good blocking out in front of him. Here we go. Second and goal at the four. The nine formation. Two tight ends. The handoff will go to Hall. And oh, he was stood up at the line of scrimmage and pushed back to the seven. Brett Butler, a freshman red shirt out of Jinx. Baumgartner wide left in the slot is Taylor. The running backs will be Toombs and Hall. Hall goes in motion. Tie it in is Roderick Broughton on the right side. Shallow pocket, throw the ball. Ought to be defensive pass interference at the goal line. One, two, three, flags are down. McClure comes over the top. They'll get pass interference, and the Aggies will have a first down. There's the power formation with two tight ends and a third in the backfield. And the handoff goes to Toombs, and Toombs will get in for a touchdown. Over the right side, great block. Chance Pierce is the deep snapper. Leckler will hold. There's the spot, the uh, snap, and that is good. Okay, Ags now have made it. A 10-7 ball game by three, a margin of a field goal. They've got the lead. Aggies lead at 10-7 at 13-32 of the second quarter. Oh, Schmidt is the 12th man tonight. He's out on the field. Here's the kickoff, and it will not make the end zone. And the return will start at the 2, back to the 10, back to the 15. Breaks a tackle, gets out to the 20-yard line. Out to the 20. Wall is under center. Terry Nichols in the lineup now at a defensive end on the right side for Texas A&M. They put a man in motion. That'll be Muther. Now he switches and comes back this way. Pauses for a moment. The handoff on a draw out of the backfield goes to Mosley. Busted out over the 30 to the 34-yard line. First down, Tulsa. 
Way out to the left side is Smith. They have a slot man in that direction. Tied in Muther here on the right. They've got a flanker. They're going to put him in motion. Actually, that's going to be Muther. Either normally a tight end was a flanker. Right. Single set back. It goes to Mosley again. Bust this one over the right side. We'll pick up about five yards to the 39-yard line. Second down and five at the 39-yard line. Three wide outs on the left side. Here's the snap. They're going to throw a screen to the left side. Caught it behind the line. Now smothered, being forced back. That'll be Savage. He'll get the 40-yard line, about a half-yard gain on a second and five. They'll come back facing third and a long four. Wall under center. Put some man in motion. They've loaded it up here on the right side. They'll try a screen in this direction. Caught behind the line. Trying to turn it up for a first down. It's going to depend on where they got the spot. It'll be close, and he was forced out of bounds near the point needed for the first down. Michael Jamison will make the uh, hit that will force the receiver. And I think that's Damon Savage again. It is. He'll stretch the chains. They'll put it down, and I don't think he got it. No, he did. He did get it. First down and 10, Tulsa with the ball, hash right at their own 44. They'll have to get it to the Aggie 46 for a first down. Put a man in motion, Muther going right to left, now turns, coming back this way to the short side. Hand off to Mosley, caught behind the line, drug down, back inside the 40, at about the Tulsa 39-yard line, Cornelius Anthony, the junior out of Missouri City Elkins. Shotgun formation, a loss on the play of about four yards, second down and 14. Drop back, throw a screen, coming back this way, Aggies had it red, but we missed a tackle in the backfield, bring the ball across the 50, now fumbled, oh, he's down at the 49-yard line. I think this is the bad Aggie call. 40, at the Aggie 49-yard line, he is down, and the official comes off the sideline after the Ags picked up the fumble and started a return going back to the far side. Third down and about three. Wall is under center, and uh, we got a uh, flag, and there may have been a legal procedure here against Tulsa. Legal substitution. Move the ball back to the 46-yard line. Back to the Tulsa 46. Single setback. Two wide outs to the left. Tight ends on the right side. They get left side. Now they take the tight end off the line. Make him a flanker. That flanker out there moves up as a split in. Wall is under center, and they running back behind him. Drops back, and he's fumbled the ball. It's on the ground, and I think the Aggies just got the fumble. Hit. Dropped it. Aggies got it at the Tulsa 36-yard line. Fumble recovery by Cedric Curry. The Aggies have the ball now with Toombs as the fullback and Hall is the tailback. Again, Tiki Hardeman slowed by an ankle injury. We're going to put Hall in motion coming back to the left side. Slide on the right. Handoff goes to Jamar Toombs. Bulls his way over the right side. Pushes a man down to the 29-yard line. Here comes a second down and four from the 29. Run the option. McCowan, there's the pitch back to Hall, who was trailing in. Got us a first down inside the 25, down to the 21-yard line with Dante Hall. Alabama was beaten tonight, number 18 by Louisiana Tech, by a point. First down and 10. Deep pitch goes to Hall. The left side. Stopped after about a yard line. Yeah, about a yard gain. Well, here's second down and nine with 808 showing on the clock. Split backfield, slot to the right, tight end left. Straight drop. McCowan under pressure. Steps up. Now throws. Down to the goal line. Brown made the catch for the touchdown. Well, Derek Brown. And a touchdown that will be only his second career reception and his first ever touchdown. The tight end caught it at the goal line and took it in. Randy McCowan made this play. He bought time enough to locate Broughton, who was wide open at about the three-yard line, threw a strike to him, and the Aggies have scored again. This was a great play by Randy McCowan to buy time to get the ball to Roderick Brock. 7.58 to go here in the second. The Aggies have now made it a 16-7 game. Here is Kitchens, and the extra point is on the board. He is perfect for the season, now six out of six. a and has a lead now of 17-7 over Tulsa. 7.58 to go until halftime. Brown's first career touchdown, only a second pass. He had a catch against Iowa State in 1997. Here's the kick. All the way back to about the two-yard line. Here's the return, goes to the far sideline, and across the 20 to about the 22-yard line will be Donald Scholl. Walls under center has a single setback. Two wide outs to the right, that's the open side. That's a slot, and they've got a flanker to the left, a tight end set up on the left side. 
Had to bring the motion from the uh, flanker to the left side. There's the snap. It goes to Mosley. They try it. Oh, nice hole across the 30. Fumbled. And they're going to say he was down again at the 35-yard line. They rolled all the way out to the 40. One, two, three officials are right on top of it. Out to the 35. First down and 10. Tulsa with the ball at the left hash mark. Offset in the backfield. They will put a man in motion. That will be Smith. Handoff goes to the backfield. And that will be Bohannon. He's got some running room. And it shuts down on him. They were trying to sweep to the left side, trying to get it outside anyway. And Christian Rodriguez came up and stopped Bohannon for about a half-yard game. We'll call it second down and 10. Here's the second down play. Offset again in the backfield. Split into the left. Play action. Now they're going to roll to the right. Being chased. Wall looking. Throws, flag down, ball intercepted by AM. It'll be Patton back to about the 32 yard line. Let's see what the flag is. There's a flag down at the 31 yard line. I think it's going to be a hold. Ball's at the 33 yes. yard line. You called yep. it, Dave. Holding. Holding, and it's going to be an interception. It will hold up. Second of the night. First for Ronald Patton. Taggy's at the line of scrimmage. Single setback will be Dante. Tight end right is De La Torre. Split in on the left is Cole. And it's a handoff to Hall. He will cross the 30, goes to about the 29-yard line. Drew McLaughlin makes the stop. Have it second and about six from the Tulsa 29. Straight drop, good block on the outside by Hall. Pass is thrown to Hodge, caught it at about the 21. Goes down the sideline and into the sideline across the 15 to about the 12-yard line. Todd France will push him out. That's where you feel like a guy has really become a complete running back when he is throwing those blocks like that. What Absolutely. What say about Gail Sayers, so that was always willing to throw the block. Here's the uh, handoff now. They're trying to sweep to the left. Hall looking for the corner. Almost tripped up. Breaks the tackle at the 12. Across the 10 and out of bounds at the 5-yard line. At the 5, Dante Hall, Chris Miller on the stop. Offset in the backfield. Taylor is a flanker way out right side. It's a second down and about three. The handoff, Hall. Hall looking for the right corner. He's going to get in for a touchdown. Got an outside block from Toombs. Toombs detained his man. Burst of speed right side. Hall, the touchdown. Dave, you mentioned the blocking and how important it is, and that's how you measure some of the maturity of your backs. Jamar Toombs with an outstanding block there to get Dante Hall into the end zone. And wouldn't it be wonderful if Jamar Toombs could become the kind of blocker that Tiki Hardiman is, and it's only a matter of time because he has the will, the talent, and all he needs is some experience. Good block to, to get Dante all into the end zone. Toombs fended off three people on that run. I was just told by our spotter. Here's the extra point by Kitchens, and it's good. The Aggies now at 524 to go in the first half have made it a 24-7 lead over the Tulsa Golden Hurricane. The Aggies lead it 24-7 at the 524 mark of the second quarter. Here's Leckler. Putting the foot into football. And they will take it about three yards deep into the end zone, and they'll take the knee right That That'll be Donald Scholes. First down and 10. Tulsa's got the ball. 5-18 to go in the first half. The Aggies have made it 24-7. to They'll hand off in the backfield. Bohannon, it's bottled up for a moment. He got a yard. Hit a man in the back, in the back behind the line of scrimmage. Ran into one of his own linemen. Jay Second. Brooks and Sammy Davis check into the lineup. Second down and nine for Tulsa at their own 21. Ball almost the middle of the field. Put a man in motion with a single setback. Wall, play action. Oh, he is hit oh. from the defensive left side by Jason Glenn. It's a sack on Wall back at the 12-yard line. It's third down and 18. Glenn very, very quiet. Would never dream that he plays as aggressive football as he does. Again, under pressure, throw the ball incomplete. Try to set up a screen right. It's been caught back at about the 9-yard line. Went over the intended receiver's shoulder. It's fourth down and 18. Back at midfield, the two return men for the Aggies. Near side hall, far side will be Webster. Snaps a good one. The kick is also a dandy. Nice spiral. Hall's going to try to take it at the Aggie 44. He does. And now here's the return back across the 50. Trying to get away from a man. Won't do it there. And he gets it down to the 46-yard line. Got to be ready. Here's first down and 10 at the Tulsa 46. Throwing it out in the flats. Can't be uh, in his hands and out of his hands. Bernard at the line of scrimmage. a has got it second down and 10 at the Tulsa 46-yard line. Hash left. Ags will throw out of the run a play out of the shotgun. 
Straight drop, about 10-yard pocket, now under pressure, throw the ball. Bernard will make the catch at the 42-yard line and get it to the 39. There is a flag down. Well, that flag is located where you would expect a holding call, and that's exactly what it will be. Wipe out this completion. Single setback, two flankers right, tight end left, split in here on the... Uh, tight end is on the right side. Split in here on the left is Bumgarner. Straight drop after the snap by McCowan. Lofts one going deep. Taylor made the catch across the 30, inside the 30, to the 27-yard line. First down, Ags, down at the 27-yard line. Taylor knew he was going to get hit as soon as he caught the ball. Great concentration by the young man from Madisonville. It's a handoff in the backfield to Hall. Broke a tackle behind the line. Jukes a man at the 20, across the 15, down to about the 12. Great run by Dante Hall as Sean Farley finally made the stop, but not before he picks up a first down at the Tulsa 12. First down and 10 at the Tulsa 12. Way out to the right side, Bethel Johnson. Single setback, slot to the left, short side of the formation. Quick drop after a snap, and they try to throw the ball to Bethel at the five. It's incomplete. 2.27 to go until halftime. Slot right, that's the open side. Single setback. Here on the left side, that is Chris Taylor. Run the option, and McCowan's decided to keep. Breaks a tackle at the 10. He's going to score a touchdown. Somebody tried to grab him by the jersey, and that wasn't near enough to stop him or even slow him up. Looks Try like there's drag. a flag down at the 11-yard line. It's going to be against Tulsa. Clapping their hands, and McCowan will score his first touchdown of the season. Yes, it was. Make it a 30-7 to lead before the extra point by... Terrence Kitchens. Well, and we've got a player down for Tulsa at the six-yard line. That's going to bring their training staff out onto the field. Well, McCowan has done such a good job tonight of running that option play. Most of the time, the Hurricane has elected to, to defend the pitch man, which is normally Dante Hall. So McCowan has kept it. And so for Randy McCowan now, he'll have six carries for 20 yards. That one good for the touchdown. Point after attempt. There's the snap by Chance Pierce, put down by Leckler, and the extra points on the board, and the Aggies lead by a score of 31 to 7, with 2.21 to go until halftime in this one. Texas A&M now has 188 yards in total offense. The Tulsa Golden Hurricane, 64 yards in total low. Here's Leckler kicking off. It's going to be a sidewinder. And will be taken a yard deep. Now mishandled in the end zone, and now they'll take the knee. Wall with a uh, trips formation right, two on the left side, one on a slot. Slot man on the left coming back this way. There's the snap, trying to set up a screen. Knocked down behind the line by Jason Glenn. Trips right, slot left. There's the snap, drops back inside the 15. Now throws, incomplete, hit as the ball arrives, trying to get it to Savage, hit by Michael Jamison to knock it away. He'll get his first PBU pass broken up for the year. Here's the third down and 10. Again, they must get to their own 30. They've been a man in motion, Savage. Now he uh, spins around, comes back this way, and they try a uh, shovel pass. That's gonna be a pass. That's a yeah. forward pass. Yeah. It's incomplete. Lipskin's had a good night tonight, 55-43 and 44. Line of scrimmage is the 20 on this fourth down and 10. Kicks away. Good high. That's a wobbly kick, and it went off the side of his foot and actually goes out of bounds on the far side of the field into the Tulsa bench. I don't think it's going to be that bad a kick. Shotgun formation running back either side of McCowan. Takes the snap. He's rolling back to his left, looking to throw. Throwing deep, going sideline. Incomplete at the 22. Skipped the ball in front of Chris Taylor. Incomplete down at the 22-yard line. High formation will line up behind McCowan. And Eric Bernard's the tailback. And off. No, it's play action. Drop back. Now set up. Throwing deep again. Going over the middle. Bethel Johnson. Is he going to make the catch? Incomplete inside the five. And the fans want defensive pass interference. Oh, so do I. <laughs> so the do I. Defensive back inside the five at about the three. Third down and ten at the Tulsa 48. Play action. McCowan rolling right. Short side of the formation, throws over the head of the intended receiver, Taylor, at the 25. He's now 4 of 15 throwing the ball, and the passing offense tonight is uh, 96 yards. Good snap. They got pressure coming up the middle. He got the kick away, and, oh, he just boomed that one. 
And that will hit into the uh, Aggie band. They've lined up outside the north end zone, ready, uh, waiting for their uh, halftime performance. And they have, I think they've changed quarterbacks. We'll check here in a minute. Can't tell if that's 12 or 16. He's under center. They put a man in motion. That is, uh, that's going to be Josh Blankenship, who's checked into the ball game now. And he has a handoff as they try the middle. And they'll get the 25-yard line on that carry. And so now Texas yeah, Aggies A&M have, will. Aggies have taken a timeout. They'll take a timeout, so we'll do the same here in the booth. Tulsa's got the ball. Second down and five at their own 25-yard line. Leading the 30. Offset in the backfield. There's the snap. Blankenship will give a deep pitch here on the right side as they try a sweep to the right. Carrying out to about the 27-yard line will be uh, Bohanna. And Pete Muther, who's uh, one of the receivers in the lineup, he's a tight end. He's out for the rest of the ball game, apparently with a sprained knee. Chris Miller, who left the game after that last series by the Aggies, back spasms, and his return is questionable. Well, so. he's a backup free safety, playing starting at strong safety, replacing Harold Burgess, who didn't make the trip because he's injured. They're down at three at the 27. The deep pitch again will go to Bohannon, and he is stopped dead in his tracks by Jason Webster. Back behind the line, they'll give him the 24-yard line, and immediately Texas A&M will take a timeout to kill the clock. Fourth down and six. As we come back, fourth down and six. They'll take the snap back at the 10. They punch away. Good high sailor. Taylor here at the Aggie 31. Here comes the return. He, and there's a flag down as he gets to the 35-yard line. Now back to about the 36. It's going to be a block. Something illegal here on that return against Texas A&M. Return. Illegal block in the back. On a receiving team. Waiting for the snap from Seth McKinney. There it is, a good snap. Drops back, sets up at the 18, throws the ball. Taylor makes the catch out across the 40 to the 45-yard line. Caught it about the 44, got a yard more as he's brought down at the 45-yard line. Ags now in the hurry-up offense. They have moved the chains, and they'll start the clock. 21 seconds, first and 10 A&M now at their own 46-yard line. Low snap. McCowan picks it up, throwing, incomplete, down around the 35-yard line. So second down and 10. The Aggies operate at their 46-yard line. Shotgun again. McCowan drops back. Now throws out in the flats right side. Caught by Toombs at the 50. Broke a tackle there. Looking for more yardage. He'll get a first down or close to it. Down near the Tulsa 43. Chains will be moved, and they'll roll the clock, and they'll step back and throw the ball into the turf to stop it with three seconds to go. Or under center will be McCowan. Probably just, now it's play action. Now he steps up. He's looking deep. Looking to the sideline, throws the ball, and it is going to be caught by Delatore, and they go out of bounds at the 22, and time has run out in the first half. So Delatore caught the pass at the 22 and went out of bounds as McCowan rolled right up to the line of scrimmage and then threw the ball. Aggies, Aggies will at, kick off. Aggies at halftime, 240 yards in total offense, 149 passing, 91 rushing. McCowan is 8 of 21, one interception, four penalties against the Aggies for 34 yards in the first half. And uh, Tulsa, 64 yards in total all, 43 passing, 21 rushing. At five first downs, the Aggies had 15. Aggies have the scoreboard, 31 to 7, and they're kicking off with the wind at their back. Cruz kick. A yard deep, it'll be returned from the zone. Out to the 10, cuts it back to his left, running to the far side, hash mark across the 15 to about the 18-yard line. Will go Donald Scholes. First down and 10 with the ball. Blankenship played right there at the end of the first half. He starts the second half. The freshman uh, quarterback hands off to Bohannon, who makes it to the 20. There's Jennings and Asi Curry over there. So here we go on a second down. And really, uh, I guess about nine. And stepping up, throwing the ball incomplete over the middle. Somebody get a hand on that That was thing? Cornelius Anthony. And Blankenship again, the freshman out of Tulsa. Here's the quarterback on a third down and nine. Takes the snap. Drops back. Steps up. Throws. Not now he will. Throws the ball. It's a ball that will be caught. And now a broken tackle at the 40. Running and now caught from the backside down inside the 10 at the 5. That was a dying quail. Brown with a 72-yard reception. His longest had been 35. He puts the man in motion. Blankenship. 
First and goal at the Aggie eight. Handoff, Bohannon, big hole, touchdown from the eight yard line right up the middle and really wasn't touched until he got to the goal line. Now we wait for the extra point. Down to three, down to, it almost didn't make it. That thing was, I think, partially blocked and then out of the back of the end zone. Somebody got a hand on that. And now 31 to 13, the Aggies lead Tulsa. This broadcast is brought to you in part by the Dallas area Napa Auto Parts Stores. There, Corey Brown ran under it. Two defenders kind of ran into each other, reminiscent of the game in Tulsa back in 1991, if you'll remember that play, Dave. Oh, that was a, a And then got it down game. to the eight-yard line where they got it in on a run by uh, Ken Bohannon, his well, second touchdown of the season. It wasn't a lot unlike this game. The Aggies took a great big lead back in that ball game, and then they lost it in the second half. The Aggies have to be careful here, want to play good football here in the second half. Taylor running up to the six-yard line on the kickoff. Here's his return back to the 15-20 as he hits the 25-yard line. A man got him around the waist, and the two of them went to the 31-yard line. Ashawn Farley was that man on their kickoff team. AM has offsides. Five-yard penalty, and they'll re-kick the ball. They were minus 20 rushing the ball against Oklahoma State. They had 123 yards of total offense against Oklahoma State in that one. Right now it's 31 to 13. Here's the next kickoff. And it will go over Taylor's head and he will take the knee. Flanker split end is on that side of the formation. Pitch to Bernard. Started right, cuts it back into his left and takes it across the 20 to the 23 yard line. It'll be second down and seven facing the Aggies when they return. Short side is to the right. McCowan under center, takes it and will hand off again to Bernard. Nice hole, has a first down across the 30, goes out to the 31 yard line. Third period, the Aggies lead 31-13. Out of an eye, drop back, dances, throws now to the sideline. Ball caught at the 35. And I guess it was Jay Brooks that changed to 21 out of his 26 from last season. Here's second down and about five, and the handoff will go to Toombs. Toombs will get two. Now he got the line of scrimmage. Standing at his 31, has it. Dancing around, throws the ball incomplete right into the hands of Leroy Hodge at the 41-yard line. Out of his hands, incomplete. Leckler's last kick was a 48-yarder, 41, 50, and 48 tonight. We'll take the snap at the 21. Line of scrimmage is the 36, and they're coming. And he got the kick away, and he's boomed one to the other end of the field. Bragg's dropping back to the 16. Good pursuit by the Aggies, and he'll get back to the 17 as he's trying to string it out to the right side. Four-yard punt by Leckler. Tulsa's got the ball first down and 10 at their 17. Blankenship throwing, ball caught at the 20 yard line. Stepping out immediately will be Savage. Single setback, put a man in motion. Kevin Isham, not been in the ball game earlier tonight. They're gonna try a run to the right side. Now it's cut back to the left, that'll be Bohannon. Bohannon carries to the 24 yard line. Freshman Josh Blankenship, the quarterback, replacing Walls, drops back, throws one over the middle, incomplete at the 30 yard line. Here is Casey Lipscomb, deep man for the Aggies. Here on the near side is Taylor, far side will be Jason Webster. They're standing at about the Aggie 28. He's tried for the sideline, trying to kick it away from the return men, and that ball hits out of bounds at the Aggie 32 yard line. And with the ball, first down and 10 at their own 32. They'll hand off coming back this way to Bernard, sweeping to the left side, across the 35, forced out of bounds at the 37 yard line with Philip Abode on his back. Valletta and Muley continue as the guard, Seth McKinney out over the ball. Andy Vincent, the tackle, run the option. McCowan will keep. They're bottled up at the 40 yard line. He'll be wrestled to the ground. I think just shy of the 40, so McCowan carries. Here's third down and two with an eye formation behind McCowan. Slot right, tight and left. Left side's the short side. Handoff will go to Bernard. Good block, and they have the first down as he carries to the 44-yard line. First down for the Aggies. Bo Gray out of Frederick, Oklahoma, made the stop for Tulsa. Aggies come out with a heavy eye and a slot to the left side. Ball equidistant between the backs, and the handoff will go to Bernard. Bernard will carry from the 45, maybe the 47. They tried the middle on the handoff to Eric Bernard. Carried five times last year in the Tech game and four times against Southern Miss before going out with the injury. Second down and about 
Hop back to the 40, lofts one sideline man. Bob Gardner caught it. 20, tackled at the 10. At the nine yard line will be the official spot, and that went for 45 yards. He ran an angle coming back from far side to the near sideline, caught it at the 20, dropped him at the nine yard line. First and goal, the had a 46-yard pass in the Louisiana Tech game. That one, 45 to Bumgardner. Eye formation, first and goal, throwing the ball off the fingertips of the intended receiver at the goal line, Bethel. That's two wideouts, right side, split in left. Quarterback draw, McCowan's going to run right. Now he's under some pressure, trying to get to the corner. He'll headbutt a man, headbutts another man, goes out of bounds at the five. Here's been, uh, Bumgardner going right. Split in in that direction. Taylor and uh, Goins here on the left side. I've up single setback. Throw the ball. That was a pump. Now going into the end zone. Intercepted. The intended receiver, Bumgardner, fell down. Then got up. McCowan had pumped. And then it's intercepted by Tulsa in the end zone. They'll bring it out to the 20 on the touchback. That'll be the second interception thrown to the ball game. That so he throws it in uh, two of them here tonight. Trying to get it to Bumgardner, and it was intercepted by Franz in the end zone. That's his second of the season. Here is Tulsa with the ball, dropping back from the 20, throwing. Ball will be caught across the 30 to the 31-yard line. First down and 10, Tulsa at the Aggie 32, 7.02 to go. In the third, the Aggies lead 31 to 13. They'll try a sweep on a deep pitch to the left side, caught behind the line, driven to the turf at the 29-yard line. Brian Gamble jumps on the back of D.J. Barnett. He fought off a block of the def of the offensive lineman and then went right up and made the tackle for a loss. Second down and 12. Blankenship drops back, sets up, was ahead as he was throwing off the hands of the intended receiver on a deflection. Jamison turns it down to the 17-yard line. McCowan is under center. An eye formation behind him with two tight ends and a flanker right. A pitch to Bernard. Got a block on the corner from Toombs. Now will be drugged down at the line of scrimmage. Couldn't get away from Ashan Farley. And again, they'll come out and they'll show a uh, two tight end formation. Put a man in motion. Here is McCowan. Dropping back, throwing, trying to get it to Toombs out of the backfield. Taylor arrived to the right side. Got Bethel Johnson. Gets Leroy Hodge in the slot here on the left. Shallow pocket. Throwing now. Trying to get it into the end zone. And down at the one-yard line. Caught by Taylor. It'll be first and goal. Took it away from the defensive back. Spencer Braggs has both leaped. And then Taylor brought it down at the one. Right about the one-yard line. Stacy Jones checks in. Full house backfield. Two tight ends with an extra tight end in the backfield. They hand off over the left side. Toombs goes to Jamar Toombs, and he gets the touchdown, his second of the night, his third of the season. That makes it 37-13. to 13. Extra point would be a point better than the points that we scored against Louisiana Tech. It's on its way, and it's good. The Aggies now have made it 38-13 to 13 with 5.24 to go in the third period, leading Tulsa at Kyle Field. Taylor had to fight to take that away from the defensive coverage, and he did. The wind at his back here is Leckler to kick off. There it is, and he will not make the end zone. It'll be taken at the three. Here comes the return to the 10 to the 15. Caught at the 15-yard line and drugged down. The 12th man, Bo Schmidt, brought him down. And Harold Robertson, the other inside linebacker, along with Chad Franson. First down and 10. There's a flag. I don't think they got the Time playoff. Mentioned earlier, the Aggies number seven in both of the uh, polls coming into the ball game tonight. A total Vincent, of 10 yards, 10 boy. Yards, <laughs> fourth in the nation. You can imagine what was turned in. Five-yard penalty, first and 15. Play action. Blanket chip. I uh, will be sacked as he drops back to the Returns it back to the 11, lost a yard. It'll be second down and 16. Evan Peroni on the tackle. Peroni injured part of last year. Out there playing full speed tonight. Second down and about 16. There he is. Pressure coming. He got the pass away. Caught behind the line and out to about the 20-yard line. That'll be shy of a first down by about eight. Here is a third down and about eight from there.
They need to get it out to the 28. Drop back, loft one, going sideline, and it is into the Aggie bench, and there was Bethel Johnson on the sideline making his first catch of the night. Casey Lipscomb, his last kick good for 44. Everything's been 43 or better except for one, which was a 28-yard kick out near midfield. Ags are coming, and they got, got a partial they block on that one. High in the air, and will roll out of bounds at the Aggie, but pulse a 40-yard line. Now, well, there's R.C. talking to official on the sideline. Not a whole lot of fussing from R.C. But why did that ball do what it did if they didn't get a partial block? Well. Breaking crew back out there. Blankenship's under center. Offset in the backfield slot left. Tied in right. Muther has returned. Hesham goes in motion. Hand off Bohanna. They try the middle. He gets four out to the 40-yard line. Second down. We'll call it five. 3.08 to go in the third. Trips to the left, tight end right, single setback. He's about eight yards behind the line. And Blankenship will have to carry the ball. He'll get a yard, and he'll be stopped by Evan Peroni. Third down and four trips to the left side. Two wideouts on the right. Shallow pocket, throw it. Incomplete at the 48. Would have been enough for a first down. Line of scrimmage is the 41-yard line. It's fourth down and four. Clock stops at 2.22 after that last incomplete pass. Here's the snap. It's a good one. Kicks away. And here is Taylor drifting over and will watch it hit at the 20 and then has to get away from it. That thing was sailing away from him, playing games with him. And he let it hit at the 20. It will roll down to the 5 and they'll kill it there. Texas a with the ball. First down and 10 at their own 5-yard line. I formation behind McCowan. The handoff in the backfield. A broken tackle. They'll get it out across the 11-yard line. Second down play as we come back. The officials did not hold it the allotted time on a timeout. The first play, Weber carrying for the Aggies. So that kind of sets it for you now on a third down and about three yard line. Here is McCowan dropping back, throwing the ball, caught by Taylor, a first down, spins away from the first man at the 17, goes to the 21-yard line, brought down by a Sean Farley. Aggies at the line of scrimmage, Weber will get the handoff, breaks the tackle at the 20 behind the line, flag goes down as he carries to the 25. And apparently it will go against Tulsa. See uh, Bumgarner face saying mask. Face, uh, face mask against uh, Tulsa. And he remains in the lineup along with uh, Stacy Jones at this time. And it'll be a pitch, and it's been fumbled on a pitch back to Weber inside the 25 and recovered by Tulsa at the 24. Ten seconds to go at the end of the third. The Aggies ahead, 38-13. to 13. Play action, throwing, and it is intercepted at the goal line by Webster. And they're going to give him a touchback. Now they're saying he's down at the one, and I disagree with that totally. Here's first down and 10 at the one-yard line. Two tight ends. Flake, McCowan will keep it on the quarterback. And the quarterback sneak, and he goes out to about the three-yard line. And time will run out here in the third period, taking it to the fourth. The Aggies will have the ball to start the fourth ahead, 38-13. to 13. It'll be second down and seven. When we come back, the Aggie Sports Connection, Wednesdays at 3 on Fox Sports Southwest, brought to you in part by GTE. Here comes the second down play, hash to the left. Two tight ends in an I formation. Drop back in the end zone. Loft one, going deep. Has Taylor, and Taylor got it at midfield. Broke a tackle. He's going to go 96 yards. And a touchdown, and no flags. Right at the 50-yard line. He stepped away from a couple of guys, and he goes 96 yards. I told you earlier that Randy McCowan did something at the half that he had such good command of the passing game here in the second half. This was a perfect, perfect pass right over the shoulder for Chris Taylor in mid-stride. He'll go 96 yards for an Aggie touchdown. What a play. That'll be a two-play, 99-yard drive. Whew. Two plays, 99 yards. That's getting it done. 14.48 to go in the fourth. Here is Kitchens, and the extra point will be good. And it's 44-13. to 13. Make it 45-13. There's the extra point on the board. 
45 to 13. Leckler has it teed up at the 35. AM now leads 45 to 13. Longest pass play in AM history. Here's the kickoff into the wind. He's going to put this one about a yard deep. There will be a return. And it comes back out to the t- <laughs> <laughs> Somebody just cut his legs out from underneath him. Here's first down and 10. They'll make a shift on the line. Does Tulsa. They've got the ball at their own 14-yard line. Hand off Bohannon. Tries the right side. Well, Somebody grabbed him by the ankle. Bohannon. Brought him down as they cross the 15. Go out to about the 18. Here's the second down play. Ball was spotted at the 19. Hash to the right. The single set back. There's pressure. They try to set up a screen. It's almost intercepted by Christian Rodriguez at the 15. The intended receiver wasn't going to make that catch. And Rodriguez diving down around his ankles. Now a third down play in that same six. Two wide outs left side. Single running back. They'll go out of a shotgun. And Blankenship will keep the ball. Lose about three or four yards. They'll take the snap at the one. A little bit low. Controls it. Middle pressure. Jay Brooks. Here is the kick taken at the 35. By Taylor, dancing around. Gets about an 11-yard return back to the 46. Van Smith is coming in. So Vance Smith will come in and see his very first action ever. Redshirted last season. He will start from an eye formation with a split in here on the right side. Tight ends to the left. That's Broughton in an eye formation behind him. He will hand off. They'll try Joe Weber across the 50. Goes down to the 46-yard line. Eight-yard pickup, Joe Weber. It'll be second down and about two. Lead back will again be Stacy Jones. Jones is also in the ball game. Here's Weber again. He knocked one of his men. The lead blocker is right out in front of him there. That was Jones. He knocked Jones down. He carries for a first down to the Tulsa 42-yard line. High formation again. First down and 10. Vance Smith will throw for the first time. Lofts one. Trying to get it to Mickey Jones, who stopped and then tried to go down the field here on the near sideline. That's out of reach of everybody. Overthrew his intended receiver, Jones. Second down and 10 at the 42-yard line. Again, an eye formation. Split in here to the right side. And it'll be a handoff to Weber again. Cuts it outside to his right. Bumps out of bounds. Across the 35. Goes to the 33-yard line. 11.50 to go in the game. Leads 45-13. Vance Smith has an eye formation behind him. A pitch again goes to Weber. Steps by one man now. Smothered behind the line. Back across the 35 at the 37-yard line. Looks like the Aggies will elect to go for it on fourth and five. They're... Down inside the 40-yard line, a punt doesn't make a whole lot of sense, but Vance Smith wants to take time out and discuss it with the sideline. Right. It's fourth down and five. Ags called a timeout. Single setback. Vance Smith now the quarterback behind the center, Toby McCarthy. They'll throw the ball incomplete, trying to get the ball down to Chris Cole. Incomplete down around the 25-yard line. A commanding lead with still the 11 minutes plus to go. Make a shift on the line. They'll move Isham back off the line and put him in motion. Now the handoff as they try a sweep to the right side. The ball has been fumbled and now picked up by Texas A&M. I think that Troy Lynn Bradley is going the wrong direction. (laughs) And they drop him back at the 41-yard line. And we'll check quarterbacks now. And this will be Mark Ferris. Ferris will come in, played minor league baseball for the last five years, and now playing at A&M. He originally signed with the Aggies and then opted for minor uh, minor league baseball. Pumped once and now throws. Dwayne Goins will catch the ball. He'll catch it at the 50-yard line. And then they'll drop him back at about the 47. They're going to give him the 49 and a half. The tight end is Mike Kazmersky. He's here on the right side. Side. Split in left will be Chris Cole. Handoff will go to Bernard at the 50, 45, 40, down at the 37. Mark Ferris has not thrown a pass since coming in. Vance Smith on that last here. Now he will throw, and he will back this way, and that will be caught by Goins down low, but he caught it at the 30-yard line. Got up in double-A baseball with a pirate organization before opting to come back to AM. and He'll hand off this time. Saying they'll try the right side across the 30 to about the 28. We'll go Eric Bernard. Third down and very, very short. McCarthy out over the ball. Signals. There's the snap and the handoff goes to Honeycutt. Honeycutt a big hole gets 10 yards. Make it 8 yards. Down to the 20. Honeycutt followed by Bernard out of the eye. Ferris wants to throw one going end zone has Cole Cole leaps brought it down and they say he's out of the back of the end zone back to the line he comes on a second down and 10 at the 20 yard line the total 
The hash to the left side. Ferris calling signals. Kazmersky tied in on the left. Handoff will go to Bernard. Bernard, the line of scrimmage, and that's all. Third down and 10 at the 20. Ags with the ball at the Tulsa 20 yard line. Here's the snap. Ferris rolls right, looking to. Well, it's incomplete. It'll be a 37 yard effort. If the kick is on its way, and he got this one. 48 to 13. AM now has hit. 15 consecutive field goals going back to last year. 48 to 13 is our score. 719 to go in the fourth. The Aggies lead Tulsa. AM will kick off. Shoals is the return man waiting for it at the three. To the 10 on the hash mark far side. Little hole gets across the 20 and out to the 25 yard line. And there is a flag down. Because they're marking it off, but we haven't here. It's holding. First down and 10, Blankenship stays in at quarterback. The starter, Michael Wall, saw action in much of the first half, then Blankenship uh, replaced him. A handoff in the backfield. They break a tackle now. Bohanna won't get away from the second man, and Christian Rodriguez will bring him down for a loss back to the nine. Six minutes and 35 seconds remaining in the game. Ags ahead, 48 to 13. Under pressure, Blankenship drifts to his right. And a nice defensive play on a pass out at the 20-yard line. That'll be knocked away by Jason Webster. Here's third down and that 13 from a shotgun. Blankenship saying something to his running back. Timeout will be called. He was running out of time. Timeout's over with. It'll be third down and about 13 for Tulsa. Blankenship drops back to the one, steps up. Now Rose has a man wide open at the 10. He'll need some more yards to get the first down. They'll bring him down at the 21. Gambles one of those on top. The punt. Waiting on the snap from the 21. Flag kicks away. Stopped everything. So a flag on the play. A&M has scored in 136 consecutive games. Last time we failed to score goes back to the 1988 season. Well, they had a five-yard markoff. So it's fourth down and sixth. Takes the snap this time, standing at his two. There it is. And there's the punt. Off to the right side, and it will roll out of bounds. So Honeycutt is the fullback. Weber is the tailback. McCarthy out over the ball. Totally new offensive line. Van Smith almost fell down. Now he throws a bullet. Caught by at the 50. Goes to the 45-yard line. First down for the Aggies. First down and 10 at the Tulsa 44. 4.45 remaining in the game. High formation. Van Smith again. Straight drop. Throws side. Oh, way high. That, got that ball got from. hit. Second down and 10 at the 44. Ash to the right side. Drop back. Now Lofts one far sideline. He's got Mickey Jones. Jones caught it out of bounds at the 16. Honeycutt and Weber are the running backs. Tight ends here on the uh, right side. Here's a pitch. Way to Weber. Weber is going to hit into the right side there. And everybody goes down across the 15 down to around the 12. From the 12. Drops back to throw. The crossing pattern. And it's caught for a touchdown. Mickey Jones. Boy, that was a bullet from Van Smith. Wow, on the slant pattern, quick slant. Caught it a bullet. three, Dave, and got into the end zone. May have been hurt there. He's kind of hopping off the field. Mickey Jones just caught it. Sophomore squadsman out of Tyler, John Tyler, and Trinity Valley did not play last season. Gets into the action here tonight and makes another reception. Had a big one there that... Got the Aggies inside the 20, caught that one at about the three and gets it in. The Aggies now have 54 points on the board before the point after. Here's the snap, and the Aggies point is up and on the board. So now the Aggies lead it by a score of 55 to 13. And they've got 350 remaining in the ball game here in the fourth period. All right, ready to go. And now uh, this will be Kitchens to uh, kick it off. And this one will hit. And uh, they're going to say that went out of bounds about the one-yard line. Boy, was that close. It was close trying to get it into the end zone as he kicked it far sideline. Next week at home, Southern Miss will be a 2 o'clock game. Southern Miss gave Nebraska a big scare today. 20-13, to Nebraska won that one in Lincoln. Blankenship sacked inside the third. Shotgun dropped back at the 27 yard line. 67,000 plus watching the opener here tonight. And Tulsa about to run another play from a second down. They give a, a draw to the backfield. That might be Bohannon again as he carries out to the 30. 
Tulsa with the football. Three wide outs left side. Blankenship throws, and uh, the ball dropped at the 30-yard line. The intended receiver had it right in his hands. But in total offense, they have 185. The Aggies now are up to 564, including a Texas A&M record. 96-yard pass to Chris Taylor. Outside pressure, and Lipscomb's punt is away. It will be taken at the 29-yard line. Taylor again. It is Taylor's coming back this way, 35, 40, got a wall at the 45, and Tulsa's 45, tripped up on the near sideline. Uh, Jay Started Brooks. by side, far side, and broke it back on an angle back this way. Mark Ferris returns as the quarterback, and hands off to Weber, spins away from one man, hits another man, still fighting for yardage down to the 28-yard line. Up the middle he went. First down and 10. Aggies have the ball. Tulsa, 28 and a half. High formation here behind uh, Mark Ferris. Used all three of the quarterbacks. Weber again, a handoff. Spins, hits another man, goes across the 20. Down about the 19. He's going to be close for a first down. That's just over the left side. Weber stays in at tailback. Stacy Jones is the lead back in front of him. A pitch going right to Weber. Has a block on the corner. Gets this time to the 17-yard line. 51 seconds to go. Second down and eight. Ferris again hands off to Weber. Weber to the 16-yard line. 19 seconds, 18, now down to 17. This will be should be the last play of the game. Third down and about seven. And the handoff goes to uh, Stacy Jones, the fullback, and he carries in for a touchdown. Uh, Left side, and he gets it in for a TD. That's a walk-on, Stacy Jones. And it's a misdirection play. It's a fake to Weber, and then they hit Jones coming back across on the cross buck. It is. It was wide open. Nobody there. Nobody saw it. Beat Missouri 73 to nothing, and this will be, I think, the most points that we have scored since Missouri. We well, own 6.09 now on total offense tonight. Extra point is up and good. Aggies now make it 62 to 13 over Tulsa with eight seconds remaining in the ball game. Took the Ags five plays to go 44 yards, and Stacy Jones with the last 16 on a on a misdirection play to the fullback, and he was just untouched. A huge hole opened up. He'll tote it in. The Aggies lead it 62 to 13. Eight seconds left. They're going to squib it, and up back will take it at about the 18-yard line. The return comes back out to the 30, spinning away, trying to take the ball away from him, and now he goes down at about the 34-yard line at the 34. And time has run out and the Aggies have won it 62 to 13 over Tulsa A&M now will go to 2 and 0 for the season and Tulsa drops back to 1 and 2 the Aggies next meet Southern Miss right here on this field next Saturday afternoon at 2:30 I was, you know, disappointed that we didn't come out and uh, that we were in, in our execution there early in the ball game. But sometimes that uh, that happens. You know, I, I watched the Florida State Louisiana Tech game two or three weeks ago, and kind of the same kind of a deal where they were they were sputtering a little bit there for for the half, and then when they when they got it going, they end up putting some points up there in, in pretty big hurry. So. That's sometimes there's no uh, every game is different in terms of how that works. But we talked uh, all week about it being a special thing that uh, we really appreciate uh, the addition of the zone, uh, starting with uh, Mr. Richardson uh, making uh, uh, that available to us and making that possible, and, and appreciate the support of all of our fans. I thought our crowd was great. You know, I thought the maroon out. Uh, uh, it was very obvious with all the, the maroon jerseys, and I, I thought that was a great atmosphere tonight to uh, play football. I'm very, very proud of the support that our fans gave this football team. And, and we did feel a sense of obligation for those people. And coming out and opening up the zone, we thought that, you know, we thought that should be added motivation. You know, it's, it's in last week, you know, Man, Bethel Johnson's great as he is. Now this week, you know, it was Chris Taylor's turn, and next week it may be Chris Coles or, or Lee Rojas or Matt Bumgarner. You never know. And, and 
I think by doing that, you know, defenses can't just key on one player. You know, next week they may try to shut our passing game down, and it'll be Dante's Hall turn to, you know, have 150 yards rushing. So it just, it's just a great, you know, asset to our team to have a lot of guys that can make big plays like that. And this team, they had great potential as far as their offense. You know, they're kind of similar to La Tech, you know, with the, the pro style, the empty sets. But Coach Hank, he emphasized all we can practice. Don't, don't underestimate Tulsa's offense. So we knew coming in, we had to be, you know, excited like Jason Glenn was, you know. That, that carried on to the whole wrecking crew, you know. As a unit, we were excited. And uh, we just, we, we, we compared them to La Tech all week. Just uh, attack them all, you know, attack them hard and just play wrecking crew defense like we did tonight. Well, it was a, it's a great feeling. I mean, on that long touchdown pass, uh, you know, it, it was great protection up front. And, you know, I give, I give all the credit to those guys up front because they held them off Randy. And, you know, Randy made my job easy. He threw it out there and I was in stride. And, I mean, my job was easy. I just had to catch the football and run. So, I mean, give all the credit to the guys up front and Randy for a great pass.
regular block formation of 12 miles.